Oh, and I get a fresh pie. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna take this fresh pie to uh, Shorty Girl. Thank you for finding my pies. Appreciate that. We take this. I keep calling her a girl, but I don't know if she's a girl or not. But Victor, we got to give Victor the fresh pie. Victor sounds like a... How do I know she's an amazing baker? I ain't tried. it. Here. Now give me some more money. This girl a hater, or Victor a hater. I'm not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper, it's my favorite. You're right, it's retro, not outdated. It's simply, I'm simply very rare. I have a pie for you, Manny. It's not from the ground? Nope, Manny gave me a fresh one. Seriously, score. Yep, please enjoy it. She feels much less rude now. I should give you something in return for this pie. Oh, party hat, bet. All right, so we're gonna give Victor the pie. Victor gives us the hat. We take the hat to, um, what's buddy name? His name is in his store, I forgot. No, Carlos. All right, so we're gonna take the hat to Carlos. We got a hat for you, dog. It's a party hat. That's the most epic thing he's heard all day. Ah, appreciate you for giving my props, dog. Nah, actually, yeah, pay me. One dollar, man, y'all, y'all cheap out here. You know what, I appreciate it. It's a tip. I appreciate the tip. You didn't have to pay me, so I appreciate it. All right, so he also has a rug. He doesn't know what it's for, but he gave it to me. So the rug must be for the person that's on stage. Rug for the person on stage so that, I don't know, they can perform on it or something. All right, let's get it. What's your name? Naughty. Who are you? The detective. I thought the lobster cop was coming. Y'all still asking about the lobster cop, huh? He ain't the one out here grinding, getting this stuff taken care of. But I heard, can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa. Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Was it you that asked for me to come? No, I would have asked for Lobster Cop. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening. Okay, can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so, tell me what you wanna know. What happened last night, Naughty? I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard, uh-huh, and she's invisible. Great, and she just moved in, yep. And she is a wizard. I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Right, okay, sorry. I'm tired of this girl already. Tell me what you know uh, about, oh, I just asked her about that. The house has been empty for ages and I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. Anyway, she kind of came at a weird time of night and I, well, I thought that was she was a ghost. Oh, yeah, it was a bit messy. I tried to vacuum her up with a vacuum. I put it on the highest setting, just really went to town with the vacuum. I think I really freaked her out and now she won't come out the house. Please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. But you should probably apologize. Okay, sorry, Detective. I mean to the wizard, right, yeah. That's why I was 
helping with the parade to apologize, but she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song, but as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. As a famous band, I want to be as professional as possible. If only I had a rug. I told y'all. But the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Yeah, I got a rug. Take this rug and give me a dollar. Uh, I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. They're fish. So the band that's coming to visit is fish and they're gonna be in a fish bowl. I'm excited too, I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. Before you go, I should give you something in return. I have some building supplies left over from when I made the stage, is that enough? Sure, thank you. I forgot that we need a building supplies so we can get this to um Ralph. Oh, and a dollar, appreciate it. All right, so we got a dollar and we got the building supplies, so let's take the building supplies to Ralph. And then Ralph is probably gonna give us a dollar. We can holler at uh, Mary. Ghostbusters. Tried to suck up the ghost in a vacuum. All right, what up Ralph? Cook your crib up, man. I managed to track down some building supplies. What exciting news. I'd love to use them if you're okay to hand them over. Oh shoot. Oops. Uh. Hook your crib up, player. I wonder if it's gonna actually look different. It don't look different so far. All right, now we got five dollars. Five dollars. Apparently, I'm an honorary pirate now. You have the treasures, collect the skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook. Oh! The hook. I forgot about the hook. All right, bet. So, we're going to take the hook. So, um, what's that girl name? We got enough money. I forgot the girl name. Susan. Hold on, take this hook, Susan. Go on, hang your picture back up. His house still looked the same even though he did all that building. All right, the sign is fixed. Easy enough. Our society is really progressive and often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need. All right, so we're gonna use her phone. Bet, all right, so now we need to go talk to Mary Get them phone numbers. It's probably 804-335-005. LOL, smiley face. LOL, smiley face. That's just my guess, though. All right, here the money. This girl really extorted me. Nah, singing that.
All right, that's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted, I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who was giving, he was, who he was giving it to, but it was someone here in the town. Barney is the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. I have his phone number. May I have it? Absolutely. 804-335-005. Go on to Froggy Wood. All right, so we got the digits. What's the number? Oh, they ain't put it. Or it could be that other number. What was it? 804 330 something like that. The Mike Jones number? Man, let's call uh, this dude. Hey, what up? Barney. Answer the phone, Barney. I was about to say. Hi, who am I talking to? <laughs> Man said I was lobster cop, but I'm not. Who is this, Noodle? I'm the detective. I'm calling about an incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about. Wasn't me. Are you sure? What did I do? Last night, someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for the new resident of the town, the Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything, if that's what you're asking. Was just delivering a parcel. Who are you delivering it to? Uh, hmm, what was her name? Oh, Lola. I don't think there's anyone in town called Lola. It must have been someone who lives there. The address was on the parcel. Though I can't remember exactly which house it was, sorry. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? I delivered a lot of parcels from them. It was from the WizBay.net headquarters. Sounds really familiar, where have I heard the name? I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there, but this wasn't for her. Do you know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think, maybe two, a pair of shoes. Did you get a good look at them? It was pretty dark. I have no recollection of really seeing anyone, not even a face. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. It wasn't much more dark than normal. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. Any clues left behind, a signature on the delivery slip or something? I didn't get them to sign it, but I remember something dropping over at the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they stumbled off before I noticed. All right, so we need to go to the entrance of the woods, see what's going on. You know, I don't know who it is, y'all. Last time I, well, last time I didn't know who it was either, but I thought that I was, oh, glasses. These belong to Mandy's too. I believe these are probably Mandy's. The Invisible Wizard. All right, let's uh, see if we can find the wizard. Play up!